so good evening everybody welcome to um, Epic Corners and uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our participants today we have uh, uh, Miss Helen from China we have Art from the Philippines Dewey from Vietnam <laughs> or Cambodia <laughs> Vietnam right yeah Ooh. Vietnam right Yes, Do we? I can't hear you. Okay, Vietnam. And we have Miss Lisa from the Philippines. And do we have any other participants who's going to be joining us? Uh, okay. Just, <laughs> just how many how many people do we have? Uh, participants. One. We have four participants. Five, including me. Okay. Well. Well, thank you for joining uh, our Epic Corners today, and um, I would like to explain the mechanics of this Epic Corners. Uh, this Epic Corners is designed for you to practice your communication skills in the English language, of course. And uh, this will help us evaluate your fluency and your level of command in the English language. So this is a very, very simple, um, very, very simple simple game okay the mechanics the mechanics are very very easy uh, all you have to do is listen to my instructions if I have some questions then all you have to do is answer the best way you can okay mind you I, I want everybody to answer in a complete sentence not just not words and phrases okay and um, I would like all of you to interact with each other okay and uh, this will help me uh, this will help you uh, convey your message to each other effectively okay you may as well be able to think critically um, you need to be able to handle a conversation you know keep it going and um, I need to know if you could use the English language fluently and confidently alright so there uh, our topic for today will be about inquiry alright now first uh, there are two. There are two ways to spell inquiry. One is the British English, and the other is the American English. Who knows the difference between the two? Anyone? Uh, Miss Helen. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what about you, Art? The difference Art? between inquiry and no, no, no. Yes, uh, the, the, the spelling. Just the spelling. <laughs> spelling of English. <laughs> For British English and American English. Uh, I think it's the accent. For uh, British is more uh, harder than the English accent. More harder or harder? No, no, no. It's not I about mean, the spelling. I mean, I mean the spelling, not the accent. Do you know the uh, okay. spelling of inquiry? Inquiry. So, uh, inquiry is uh, I N Q U I R Y. Okay, very good. That's American spelling. What about British English spelling? Dewey, any idea? No. <laughs> okay, it's spelled E N Q U I R Y. Okay, so for American Hi. English. The initial letter is I for British. It's E, but they just mean the same. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, what's the first thing that crosses your mind when you hear the word inquiry? Doing. What's an inquiry? What's the first thing that you think um, about? The first thing, in, first thing so in my mind when I hear the word inquiry is something mm -hmm. like, um, like the the uh, the uh the question the answer the um, uh, the question you know, answer yeah is like um a, a list of question to, to know something to find something right? to know to find something yeah it's very good what about you miss helen Mm, when I first uh, he heard the inquiry, I think uh, maybe ask somebody for 
to get some information. Mm -hmm. Okay, to get information. Do, you, do we always inquire? What, should, what kind of scenarios can you think of inquiry, when inquiry is being used uh, or being done? Art. What scenarios can you think of when inquiries are being done? Uh, I think uh, when inquiry is being done uh, it's like uh, uh, someone a scenario. Is, uh, scenario. Uh -huh. A scenario is like uh, for example if you are uh, on a mall and you're, it's your first time to be on that page so uh -huh. uh, you're going to inquire uh, for the information, information desk mostly the, you go to the customer service and then ask for some in, uh, inquiry to them and to know uh, some information or direction from which place you are you want to go. Very good, exactly. So there are two things uh, that are involved in an inquiry. One is the information and the other is the question. So when you inquire, you ask for information. And how do you ask information? We ask questions, right? Questions and then information. All right. Okay. Now, uh, let's 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 have a scenario. Okay. Let's say one of you is a receptionist in in a hotel. Okay, and the other will inquire about something. Okay, let's see what kind of information you guys are going to ask. Uh, who wants to be the receptionist? Who looks like it? Ah, Helen. <laughs> Since you are uh, Miss Lisa. Okay, let's have two uh, two groups. One is Miss Helen and Miss Lisa, and the other group is Dewey and Art. Okay, Miss Helen, you will be the receptionist, and Miss Lisa will be an incoming guest. Are you guys ready? Want to prepare first? Okay. Um, how many minutes? Two minutes preparation? One minute? Okay. Two minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. You may prepare. And then the other two, you may prepare while the other girls are preparing for their role play. This is a role play, okay? All right. And Julie and Art, who wants to be the receptionist? I don't want okay. to be a receptionist. Uh, <laughs> Louis, can you do the reception? <laughs> <laughs> you do that, uh? <laughs> No, I. <laughs> Everybody no, wants I... to become the receptionist. <laughs> okay. I'm very right. masculine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Julie, you will be the receptionist. Art will be the incoming guest. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Remember. Uh, remember, you have to ask questions, and the receptionist will be giving information. So this is the process of an inquiry. Okay, so we are going to gather as much information as we can. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. All right. If you need help, I can help. <laughs> Let's see. You are in. Uh, what's the Famous hotels, Shangri-La, Hilton. What else? <laughs> Mandarin. Mandarin, yeah. Okay. Don't tell me you haven't been able to inquire in a hotel before. Okay. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> okay. You guys watch movies, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. So there's no reason for you not to know what to ask because you guys watch movies, TV shows. It's all it's always there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start. Miss Helen and Miss Lisa. Miss Helen, you'll be the receptionist. Miss Lisa will be the guest. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Action. Okay. Good evening, Miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Um, I've been new in the town. Um, I'd like to um, um, 
to have a roof for a, a comfortable roof for um do you have a deluxe available yeah what kind of room you want to have a single room or double bedroom um any any room that uh is comfortable for me uh, i don't want any uh, i want a quiet one but uh, when i woke up when i wake up in the morning i'd like to see a beautiful view oh okay yeah we w we will arrange you uh to uh <laughs> to a <laughs> single room next to next to the sea. Uh, wow. If it's mm -hmm. a, if it's a, is it okay? Mm, how much would it cost me? Uh. Uh, one hundred. Uh, per night, a night. One hundred what? <laughs> one hundred. Uh. uh RMB. Okay. Ah, okay. Can I pay in uh, using my credit card? Yes, you can. You can pay it uh, in, yeah, in that account. Okay. Right. Thank you. Uh, right. you welcome, welcome to our hotel. Yeah. Uh, I hope you can enjoy your uh, your trip here. Your stay. Your stay. Your stay. Your okay. Your stay yeah. here. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. You guys have to top that, huh? Okay. Art, you will be the visitor, <laughs> the guest. Do it. You will be the receptionist. Okay. <laughs> you two ready? I'm One, ready. One, two, three. Action. <laughs> um, good evening, sir. How may I get, uh, how may I, <laughs> good evening sir, how may I have you? Uh, yes, good evening, uh, my name is Art, so uh, I just want to know if you have any vacancies. <laughs> uh, sir, so, uh, we have this, uh, okay. do, do you have any, yeah, do you have any vacancies, like uh, how many rooms available? Can we do it again, Coach? <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, we'll do it again. If you want to torture yourself, okay, do it again. <laughs> um, All right, one, two, three, action. Okay. Oh, good evening, uh, sir. Um, how may I have you? Uh, yes, good evening. Uh, my name is Art, and I just want to ask for, uh, is there any vacancies available? Yes, sir. We has a very available room, and uh, um, what kind of room do you want? Do you want room for one people or two or ma how many people do you want to? Um, uh, how many? Uh, oh yes, uh, we have uh, like uh, we have three people. Uh, my wife, uh, my dog, and me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. We have a dog. Come again. So you um yes, I have may I suggest you to uh, have the uh, one bed uh the room with uh, one bed or the room um, the room with one bed. Again, again please. Yeah, but I uh, um, may may I suggest you come again? For, uh, the the room with one bed? One bed, okay. One bed. one bed only, but uh, we are three people. I mean, uh, um, my wife, me, and my dog. So, is there, okay. uh, <laughs> do you think uh, one bed will be enough for us, or three of us? Your dog is your wife. the dog will, will, <laughs> will be in the middle. <laughs> okay, so, let's get you for the room for two, um, a room. Uh, two bed. Okay, two bed. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so but uh, may I ask if he, uh, is pet allowed uh, inside the hotel? Come again. Is pet allowed 
inside the hot tub. So, yeah, is the pet allowed? He said. Um, pet, pet allowed. So, um, no pet allowed. Actually, that uh, in your hotel is the not the pet. So, um. Ah, okay, but but my dog is like other person, you know. I want to bring my dog really with me. <laughs> um, is there is there any rule uh, with the hotel that uh, pets not uh, allowed? Um, actually, um, you cannot uh, bring your pet uh, inside the uh, your room, but uh, uh, we will have a um, small room in the back. Uh, of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> At the back of the hotel oh. for the dog? Oh, that's pretty, you know? <laughs> okay. I don't know because uh, actually I never go to hotel before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry okay. for me, he's my first time. <laughs> Alright, very good, thank you. Alright. Well, for the first timers, it's not too bad. Yes, okay. And uh, you know what I noticed about your speech is that it was very polite. Like, may I? That's very, very important. Okay. When you are asking questions, making inquiry, it's very important to be polite. Of course. All right. We can use uh, many different expressions, such as "can you?" Uh, "Can you?" is a bit informal, though. Can you? Can you give me some water? Yeah, that's a bit, um, you know, commanding. <laughs> All right, but uh, maybe you may use could you, uh, would you mind, do you mind, is it okay, may I, would you please. All right, so will you and can you is a bit um, informal, All right. used for close friends and family members. All right, so in this case for hotels, could you please tell me how much the rooms are okay all right okay any questions so far it's clear yes, yes. yes? okay all right now uh, when we are like what I said earlier a uh, part of inquiry is making a request all right so um, I would like each of you to give me an example uh, by request or making a request or or asking somebody for information okay I'd like you to use the word can will could or would if someone has used the word will you should not repeat the same word there are other words you could use so let's start with Helen could you please uh, uh, use the word can to make can. a request or inquiry Mm. Uh, okay. Can I help you? Can I help you? Okay, very good. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Next, Miss Lisa, could you, could, could you uh, uh, give us an example using the word will? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Will you be attending the party tomorrow? Very good. Doi, please use the word could. Um, uh, could you please show me your identification? Could you please? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> they will, uh, they'll just be to asking check your me. image in the picture. Uh, just to check your picture. <laughs> Are you a police? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, Miss Helen, your video stopped. Miss Helen? Yeah. Helen? I think she got disconnected. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miss Helen, can you hear us? Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Hello? Oh, where is Hi, he? Hello? Ah, uh, okay. Hello? Yes? Can you hear me? 
Yeah, now I can hear you. Alright, okay. Alright, now I'm going to teach you how to... Uh, oh, sorry, some people are not yet done. What about you, Art? Could you please uh, give an example using the word wood? Wood. Would you help me Making with my uh, English language? Oh, yes, of course. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright. Okay. All right. Now remember that when you're making a request or inquiry, um, it is all, it is followed by a gerund. Does anyone know what a gerund is? Gerund? No. Gerund. Oh, this is grammar. It's a bit bloody, but anyhow, I'll give you a simple overview of what a gerund is. Okay. Gerund is the verb ing. Okay, for example, um, swimming. Okay, but the gerund, mm -hmm. okay, gerund doesn't function just like the present participle. Present participle is same, swimming. Okay, don't be confused, okay? Present participle. Present participle is used when you are uh, talking about uh, talking about an action that you do now. Okay, mm. that you are doing now. You understand? Yeah. The gerund. Okay, it has a lot of usage. One is it functions as let's say subject. For example, mm -hmm. swimming is my hobby. Alright, so in this mm -hmm. case, swimming is not, sorry, in this case, swimming is not used as a verb. Okay, it's used as a subject, right? Yeah. You understand? Okay, now going back to... Yes. Yes. Did anyone understand? Art? Do we? Yes, I am. Okay. Now, when we when we are making a request or inquiry, we use would you mind plus verb ing or the gerund. Okay. Example. Mm, would you mind studying your lesson for tomorrow? Where is the gerund? Do we? Can Can you uh? Okay, I will write the sentence. Would you mind studying for tomorrow? I mean, uh, you want me to find the... Uh, Gerund. Gerund. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gerund. The words you... Uh-huh. No? Uh, you? No. Okay, Art, what about you? Can you try? The gerund is? Studying, coach. Studying. Very yep. good. That's right. Okay. Uh, Joy, the gerund is a verb. Uh, okay, okay. I-N-G, okay? Yes, Sorry. and the function of this is, it could be object of the preposition. It has many, many functions, but not uh -huh. as a verb, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, um, okay, could you please, Art, could you please make a sentence using would you plus Gerund? sentence. <laughs> yes, would you? I would... Would you? No. Come again, would you? Uh, using the word would you. Okay. So, uh, uh, would you like to walk with me on the park? Ah! Okay, uh, Gerund, I-N-G. Yeah, no Gerund here. Um, 
Would you like walking with me? <laughs> Would you like walking with me? Very good. Okay, to walk is infinitive. But that's ah, different. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to walk with me? To walk is infinitive. Would you like walking with me? That's gerund. All right. Uh, that's a bit of grammar for you guys. <laughs> Just to review your grammar in high school. To walk is infinitive. Walking is gerund. Okay, clear? Yes. Yeah. Miss Helen, can you try? Would you plus gerund? Uh, would you pass me that glass? Would you pass me? Pass is passing. simple present. Uh, would you? Passing? Would you like me, passing? Uh, me that glass? Ah, okay. <laughs> would you like passing that glass to me? Oh. Okay. Would you like passing that glass to me? Okay, all right. So there for um, uh, could you, okay? Now the other words that we use is can. What do you think is the difference between can and could? Could is more polite. Very good. Okay, and can is? Passage or could. Could is a passage. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Could is. What about can? What? When do we use can? Hmm. Okay, Lisa. All right. Um, can is expressibility. I think also permission or willingness, possibility. Yes, very good. So, for example, we say, uh, I can swim. What is that? Does that, does that ask for permission? Ability. That's ability. ability. Okay. If I say, joy, if I say, can I use your pencil? What does it express? That's a question. Question asking for? For you, the pencil. Asking for, yes, asking for permission. Uh, yes, okay. All right. And it can also be, uh, uh, can can also be used as, pos as a form of possibility. For example, uh, cake, eating too much cake can make you fat. Right? Yeah. What is the possibility yeah. there, Art? Eating too much cake uh, can make you fat. What's the possibility? Possibility you will get overrated. Will, will become, uh, become, become fat. 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 That's the possibility. Okay. Now, this is your exercise. You have to make, uh, you have to give me three sentences. One is using the word can. The other is using the word could. Okay? So remember, can expresses ability, willingness, and permission. And could is past tense and past tense of can or it's a polite manner of making a request. Okay? All right. Let's start with doi. Use the word can. Yeah. Can I have your phone number? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good. Um. Uh. Um. Could you help me to uh, edit the document? Could you please help me edit the document? Yes. All right, Helen. Okay. Hmm. Could you please do me a favor? Could you please do my favor? Yeah. Hmm. Then can mm -hmm. can still use in a question, right? Yes. 
Okay. Mm. Can I join the app corner? Of course, you can. Art. Oh. Can and could. Oh. Can and could. Yes. Uh, can you kindly add your code Skype ID in your contact list, please? Of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, could you fix your microphone so that we could hear you better? Yes, very good. All right. And Lisa? Can and could? Can you open the door, please? Can you open the door, please? Uh huh. Could you please speak up? Could you please speak up? Could you please speak up? Yes, very good. Yeah, easy. All right. So can and could. Right. Now uh, you might you may be asking yourself the difference between will and would, right? Will and would. Okay. Will and would. Anyone who knows the difference between the two? Yes. For example, I say um, I will. Uh, I will go to. I will go to the park tomorrow. What does that mean? What am I trying to say? Will is what. The future. Future. What do future. Future. future, very good. Yes, that's right. So you're going to do something in the future. Okay. All right. What about the word would? Would pass the tense of will. Yes, very good. Pass tense of will. Um. Also, to be polite, it's the same. Yeah. With could has sense of can, and a polite manner to make an inquiry. Yeah. All right. All right. This is an activity. Okay. All right. We will be interchanging the group. This will be between Lisa and Dewey, Art and Helen, and you're gonna converse with each other using will and would. Okay. And each one should answer politely and ask questions politely okay all right so you're going to use uh, will and would for this exercise okay Lisa and Art Dewey and Helen okay ready will and would remember will is when you are going to do something in the future you volunteer to do something in the future So, who wants to volunteer? Ah, Art and Lisa. Okay, you may go first. Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did I <volunteer>? Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Exchange questions with each other using the words will and would. Okay. All right, you start Art. Ask Lisa using will and would. Then Lisa will answer and then... Next, Lisa will ask Art using will and would. Okay, you start, Art. <laughs> I will start. How many questions? Oh, only two. Uh, only two questions. You want more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coach, uh, will you go? Uh, will you visit me tomorrow to oh. see to see my children? <laughs> no, I will not. I will go to the beach tomorrow. Ah, okay. okay. So, uh, well, would you mind if uh, we will just, if, would you mind if we could just talk uh, by a Skype? <laughs> um, I would not because my signal is not good to, uh, to the uh, okay. chat. Okay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Do we? 
ask Helen, will, and then would. Um, will you online tomorrow? Again? Um, will you be online tomorrow? Ah, uh, yes, I will. Okay. Would? Uh, 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 would you mind to take a walk with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helen? Okay. Hi, Dewey. Will you come to my birthday party tomorrow? Oh. Uh, no, I'm not. Because I need to take the airplane. Not, no, I'm not. No, I won't. Oh, uh, no, I won't. Sorry. <laughs> yes. That's the negative uh, uh, of uh, will. Won't. Okay, another one. Uh, okay. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here you are. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the last activity. Okay. Um. Ah. Okay. All right. Well, I guess you guys have uh, somehow understood what. Uh, can, could, will, and would, and how to use them properly, the differences among all of them. So, is there anyone who didn't understand? You can ask me questions about it. Is everything clear? Yeah. Yes? yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember, can and will are a bit informal. It's used uh, when you are making a request. If you want to be more polite, you use could and would. Alright? Okay. Yeah. Alright, there you are. Okay, and uh, I think that's it. And I would like to send the evaluation form to everybody before we finish. Okay. Okay, hang on. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Give me a moment, please. Okay, this is the evaluation form. Okay, there you are. Let me know when you have finished the evaluation, okay? Okay, All right. okay thank you very much everyone. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.